in the first church that I <coughs> served in uh, as a senior pastor, I had a lady who was in her upper 80s, and she always went with me to visit people in the nursing home, and she'd call me up and say, let's go visit the old people. <laughs> She had a couple great sayings. One was from this scripture. Whenever we'd go to leave, she'd always say to them, keep the faith. Keep the faith to the very end. And of course, sometimes the end of your life can be a struggle, a long struggle. And, and some of our loved ones had that struggle. She also liked to keep it light because if they started to complain, she'd say, well, it's better than getting run over by a beer truck. <laughs> Another one of her sayings, and I thought only she could get away with it because she's around their age. I need to be more sympathetic than that. But <laughs> the fact is that uh, we go through hard times, and, and God knows that. And God gives us the courage and the ability to keep going no matter what the problem. Uh, never quit is the uh, behind all the scriptures. Tell us, keep the faith, never quit. Keep doing what God has called you to do. Now, how can we do that? Because sometimes we just feel like giving up. We feel like giving in to the temptation just to quit. I quit trying to do the Christian life, give in to whatever would suit us. But I want to give you some opportunities to think of how God can carry you through the storms of life. I want to tell you that the awareness of God's presence and the experience of Christ's strength gives us motivation and ability to carry on no matter what the problem is. We need to know our scriptures to help us because it tells us God will never leave you nor forsake you. And we have to trust the word of God, trust his promises, even if we don't feel like it. He even said, I don't feel God's presence. It's not all about feeling. It's about trusting God that he is true to his word. He will never leave us or forsake us. And then to believe that we have that straight, the same strength of Christ, the resurrection power of God. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. One way you can do this is to practice every day learning to enjoy God. Because you don't want to grit your teeth and say, I'm going to do this, <laughs> and no matter what. You'll, you'll hear in communion, it, it, we say every time, free us for joyful obedience, that we enjoy God. That when we do get to do good, it, it's wonderful. And even others who, who aren't followers of, of God. Uh, David Thoreau was not necessarily a, a believer, but he said, there's a truth to life. You, if you try to help someone else, you can't but help yourself also. And God makes it that way in life. And so as we go through storms, we, get, we need the awareness that God is there. And then if we need some joy, the best way for us to get joy in our life is to end up helping somebody else. Do something kind for someone else. Give them a phone call, send them a card, say a word of encouragement. Stepping out and believing that Christ will give you the strength. And sometimes all you can say is, give me the strength for this day, and I'll trust you this day. And don't look too far ahead, because that gets scary. Lord, I trust you for this day. You'll help me get through this day, and he does. And then the next day you wake up and say, Lord, I'm going to trust you for this day. And one by one, those days go by, and the Lord has helped you through every single one of those. And you can look back and say, the faithfulness of God. Amen. The second thing you need to know is the assurance of knowing that you're living life God's way. And the joy, again, of doing God's will brings us through any trial or tribulation. Now, no one's perfectly doing the will of God, but you need to look in the scriptures. I still have one study Bible out there. I want someone to buy it and take it home because if you say the scriptures are hard to understand, yeah. 
Anything that's good in life is going to be a little bit hard too, so study. Get the notes and help, help yourself understand it. But the assurance of knowing that you're living life God's way and that when, you're, when you aren't, you're going to repent and try to get back in as quick as you can. Repent of whatever. But making sure our attitudes are one that we're trusting God. We're trusting God through the unknown. We're trusting God when things don't go our own way. There's times, if you remember in the Bible, the Apostle Paul wrote a whole lot of the New Testament. And there's a time where Paul and Silas, they were in jail singing praises to God. Now usually when you're suffering, you might not think about singing praises, but I will tell you that is the best way to get joy back in. If you wake up in the morning feeling depressed, sing some praises to God. And if you're not a singer, I turn on YouTube. <laughs> you can get an hour worth of praise. Just listen to the words then. But put the praise back in your mind. Say, God is in control. God has the almighty power. This problem is not bigger than God. My grief even, God will help me with. Everything in life, we just put our focus back where it needs to be. Back on the praise of the Lord. And I'll tell you what too, praise scares the devil. If you feel like you're getting beat up on, too, I think when you're praising God, that scares the devil away, too. So it's, it's a good <laughs> remedy for following the Lord. And then we keep saying it, apply the truth of the Bible, God's word. Have faith in Christ, whether you understand your life circumstances or not. There's a whole lot of things in life we don't understand why they happen. Why did a tragedy happen? Why does this loved one get this illness? Why? Why? We don't get the answers to why. But we do to trust the Lord and say, if he doesn't take me out of it, he'll take me through it. He'll give me the strength. And he tells us that all things work for the good. And we can't imagine sometimes on this side of heaven, how do all things work for the good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. But to, to believe God for that, that he is working for the good. Know your Bible and uh, know that you can be in the will of God. I, I love the things that our church tries to do because there's over 2,000 verses on helping the poor. So if you want to say, am I in the center of God's will? Do something to help the poor. You can be sure. You're in the center of God's will. If we're helping bring people out of darkness into the light, having the Al-Anon, having the reaching out with the drug, the Neighborhood Coalition Against Drug, whenever we're saying we're bringing people out of darkness into the light, we're in the center of God's will. We, we know certain things God is right in the center of those. And then other things that we don't have control of, the one thing we do have control of is our attitude. And uh, people look for Christians and say, are you like everybody else? Are you down when things aren't going your way? Or can you actually trust that your God is good? You know, to the Israelites, God said in the Old Testament over and over again, remember. And we talked about a song, remember. It's not always going to be good times, so when in the bad times, Remember how God has been faithful. Remember how God sent people before us and surrounded us. Remember that God is always faithful. And we can know that whether we can either face problems this way, fearfully, hopelessly, rebelliously turn and do our own thing or courageously by trusting Christ. Every time we're in a storm, every time after the election day, <laughs> say, am I going to be fearful, you know, hopeless, rebellious, or am I going to trust Christ? This is should be our prayer at all times. Lord, I'm going to trust you to lead me through this problem. 
Let's say that together. I think that's on our screen. Let's try to say that prayer together. Lord, I'm going to trust you to lead me through this problem. Amen. Can anyone raise a hand and say God has led them through any problem in their life before? Has God ever helped you through a problem before? And one of my favorite songs, I don't know the title of Dennis Rodman again, but it says he'll do it again. <laughs> He's done it before and he'll do it. I'm not sure that's probably not the title, but basically God has helped us before on problems. This time will be no different. If he doesn't take us out of it, he'll take us through it. Maybe years later we'll see how some good came out of that. Maybe we won't know till we get into glory with the Lord, but we will trust that God is stronger than any problem that we will ever face. Amen.